Hi, I'm Tom Bowler, and welcome to our instructional seminar on power supply measurement techniques using PicoTest signal injectors. Today we'll be talking about the power supply rejection ratio, or PSRR, of voltage regulators. PSRR is the measure of the conducted susceptibility of a voltage regulator. In short, this is how much amplitude of an AC signal is attenuated from a power supply's input to its output. To make this measurement, we'll be using a PicoTest J2120A line injector to inject an AC signal onto the input bus of our system. The line injector enables the PSRR measurement to be performed using commonly available test equipment safely and accurately. The line injector allows the input DC supply voltage to be modulated by a network analyzer source signal or other source generator. We'll be using the oscillator output from an Omicron Lab Bode 100 network analyzer for that purpose. A common method for measuring PSRR is to use an injection transformer to modulate an AC signal onto the input bus. The problem with this method is that using a high permeability transformer will saturate at very low DC currents, typically in the low milliamp range. Using a low permeability transformer will offer higher saturation, but will suffer a high frequency response. In either case, you run the risk of permanently damaging a perfectly good and expensive transformer. So let's go to the lab and set the measurement up. For this demonstration, we'll be using a PicoTest voltage regulator test standard, or VRTS board, which currently has an LM317 linear voltage regulator, which is included in the kit installed. Power is applied to the board via an AC to DC wall power adapter. There's roughly seven volts at the board, one volt drop across the line injector, and so we're applying about six volts to the input of the LM317, and its output set to 3.3 volts. We're also using a PicoTest J2111A for a 25 milliamp constant current load. For this first test, we won't be using any additional output capacitance. We've connected a 50 ohm coax cable from the source output of the Bode 100 network analyzer to the modulator input of the line injector, and we'll be measuring the input signal on channel two and the output on channel one both with 1 to 1 voltage probes. Again, this will tell us the attenuation of the input AC signal to the output. So the more positive the result, the better the PSRR performance. After calibrating the probes to remove the cable parasitic effects, we're ready to perform a frequency sweep. As you can see, there's approximately 60 dB of signal attenuation from input to output in the lower frequency range, and at frequencies above 10 kHz, the PSRR falls steadily towards 0 dB out to 10 MHz. This tells us that the regulator is susceptible to frequencies in the 10 MHz range passing straight through the regulator from input to output with little or no attenuation. If we add a 22 microfarad ceramic capacitor from the BRTS kit to the output of the regulator, we can modify the PSRR performance of the system. We can see that the low frequency performance remains the same at about 60 dB of attenuation. However, there's a large dip in performance around 7 kHz, though the higher frequency signals are more attenuated. Knowing which frequency range your input bus is susceptible to will let you know where you need the most attenuation, and this measurement will help you to optimize your system's PSRR performance in that desired range. The J2128 line injector enables quick and easy PSRR measurements for a wide frequency range, from 1 Hz to 10 MHz. No injection transformer is needed for the measurement. This setup enables us to measure PSRR in systems with high DC currents up to 5 amps without ruining an expensive transformer. Check out all our other videos at picotest.com. Thanks for watching and happy testing.